Hello and good morning, my lovely friends. This is Marta from Drop of Sunshine and welcome in my studio. My friends, today I wish to present you the very first card I've created using Lou Collins. This is her, one of her latest collection called uh, Floral Script uh, by Textures. And uh, I am so happy and grateful and thankful to the Crustache that I had this uh, possibility and opportunity to play with this collection. And I truly, truly love it. I've already published one video with the Canva, uh, but today this one video, actually uh, the one you're seeing just now, this is my first attempt ever trying this collection. I am just looking over it, uh, checking what's there. And uh, I honestly had uh, a little trouble to start start off and not because uh, I didn't like it. Uh, my trouble was that I love this collection so so much that for the first few good minutes I couldn't actually decide which one die, which one stamp set and what to use first because I wanted to use it all and uh, here I'm just looking over the papers, I'm looking over the dies and embossing folders and this is... Uh, I, I decided to not edit this video to show you my friends that uh, sometimes when you see the the other crafter and artist posting the video you just see the the only creation process but we also take the time we also take a few minutes to decide uh, shall we use this or that and uh, i've i've left it purposely to not uh, to also give you the uh, you know inside look that uh, we take a few minutes to think of our design and uh, sometimes i've noticed that that a uh, so few of my friends is like oh marta you're doing such a lovely cards and uh, you put everything so effortless you just open and craft and yes that's many occasions is true and uh, once you craft for uh, a specific amount of a time for many many years you have this bigger storage of ideas or of uh, of different types of the cards and techniques so obviously once you build up your skill set you are able to come up with more and more ideas because the more you explore this crafting um you know trade the, the more techniques the more different approaches you you find out and you you are able to build up on top of what you already experience and what you already uh, learn your Yourself. So this is why uh, many beautiful artists who are there for, for many years, they are able to uh, came up with lots of ideas, with lots of a beautiful inspiration and they just did it uh, with the, you know, blink of the an eye and they just coming up with ideas. And I also find this that uh, I'm usually very, very uh, creative in, in, in having lots of different ideas. How would I, you know, make this card or that card very very rarely I, I usually uh, I would say that rather than uh, not being inspired I'm <laughs> over inspired which means like I, I know I have a very little time but I have like three or five ideas and I'm trying to figure it out which one shall I actually uh, create because I know that oh in one hour or so my son will wake up from a nap and and I just have to decide for something so here I am just like looking over the dice trying to figure it out which one uh, I should use first because I honestly wanted to use them all uh, so uh, this is why you can see me here thinking for a few few minutes uh, which one shall I start from and after a few minutes of thinking, I finally decide what I would like to start from. What shall I, uh, what I wanted to do at the first one, and I truly, truly love this floral script embossing folder, and it's absolutely amazing. I love this font, and the size of this embossing folder is actually, uh, which will fit nicely over the A5 size uh, card, so it's really large. And that gives you a lot more uh, options than just a smaller, like a A6 or 5 by 7 one. So I definitely fall in love with this embossing folder straight away. And uh, this is what I'm going to be using as my main panel for my card. Like uh, it's going to be a lovely large uh, embossing folder and then a little composition uh, added in front of that. Right now I'm just... 
trying to see which one sentiment will go nicely whether it's going to be a stamped or a die cut one and the Lou she loves lettering she loves sentiment so uh, she gave us with this collection with every single one of her collection she always gave a large selection of different sentiments of the various words there's uh, such a incredible richness if it comes for many like um type styles so you have this elegant but you have also more like a fun uh, script type and this uh, lovely beautiful dice the one you can see here with the banners they have lovely messages and this dice and the sentiment dies on them they cut really really thin sentiment so they're just gorgeous they're just this perfect uh, accent to to the cards now i'm having another one uh, set here which is called build a frame and this one also have uh, great features because it has this lovely uh, circular uh, like a doily type frame but this one actually cut the inside portion as well so it, it's not create your doily but rather this uh, frame around it and then there is another one septagonal shape which is also amazing die because it not only will cut you the se uh, septagonal shape uh, matte inside but this will cut this beautiful uh, very very thin shape you will see it in a minute uh, i've decided that it's gonna be a perfect accent to add this little very very thin frame uh, with the gold color cardstock which i will be doing in a second and uh, here i am just placing up my composition this is how i like to work i like to take all my elements and then just uh, try one on top of another to see which one i am happy with which one is more suitable like you know uh, i i like to do this dry run and then um, once i'm more or less i'm sure which one dies i want to use then i'm starting to uh, cutting out my shapes now i will start from embossing myself this uh, large piece a5 size piece of the cart uh, i will emboss it and create myself this front panel i was just telling you about a second ago i cut my paper half and then uh, one piece i will emboss it and the second one i will put through the um, die cutting machine and cut those frame and here i am just spraying a little bit with the um, distress uh, ink but i've decided that it's too dark and uh, i will use that pa piece of the paper for something else uh, i want to have this more like a pristine white look at first i thought i will add some splashes before uh, before uh, making my panel before embossing my panel but then i've decided that uh, this brown is too dark i want to have something a little bit lighter and i came up with idea to actually color a little bit area which i will have a place underneath this like a, a doily frame which you could see um, a second ago and i thought because the flower uh, in the paper collection are kind of pinkish very nice pink color i thought it will they will go very very nice uh, they will show very nicely on this teal color um, background it's gonna be kind of looking like a um, summerish sky or something like that uh, but it's more tealish color uh, i'm using a couple of the distress oxide ink and also a um, very very bright teal color acrylic paint i am just mixturing them on a piece of the foil uh, i add a little bit spray of the water very light mist i have this water bottle which is actually empty container after uh, some hairspray um, there was some some conditioner uh, spray and i really love this bottle because it has a very very delicate mister and here you can see i am just spraying the paper a little bit more just to help the color spread even more and i'm letting my paper sit for the second uh, just so the color will soak up into the paper and after like a 10 seconds i'm just taking a kitchen towel and dabbing off the excess especially concentrating on the outer areas just to clean it off uh, just to make sure it's it's white wash like 
all outside this it's a uh, much lighter uh, than this uh, circle i'm trying to create uh, this watercolor look and now i've decided to add those splashes and i'm taking the same distress satin spray uh, which is tarnished brass color and i'm adding a couple of those golden uh, brown co color splashes and then i'm also gonna be uh, making a few made out from the white gesso uh, but because i had my um, my uh, brush a little bit dirty from the satin spray uh, which i've just used then the white is not as pure white as it should be uh, but i don't mind it's really nice look anyway and i just love this uh, this distress look which which are added by by the splashes and it also add additional dimension to the to the whole image you will see it later on on a close-up look i really love how this background turned out and it's very easy it doesn't take a lot of time and uh, i just just took a few minutes uh, but it's something i really really recommend you to play with a uh, little bit of the empty packaging and uh, some water spray and if you don't have distress inks you can use any other type of the inks or acrylic paint or watercolor paint whatever coloring medium you have just press it on the foil and then add it to the cardstock couple splashes of water and you're good to go and now you can see I straight up my cardstock because uh, once you add a lot of moisture, uh, there is a big chances for that that your cardstock will get like um warp a little bit. Uh, but this is why I always like to color my papers before I use the embossing folder because once you press it through the uh, embossing folder, I run it through my die cutting machine uh, with this script embossing folder, this straighten up this piece of a paper and uh, also give it additional look in the form of this embossed uh, script. Uh, which I think it adds a lot of interest to the card because you not only have this subtle color in the background, you also have additional texture. Uh, plus, uh, this is a great way, as I've mentioned, to straighten up your cardstock once it's all warped from the moisture. And uh, this is what I love to do just send the cards through the embossing folder and uh, that's uh, two win-win because you get the texture and your cardstock it's flattened up like it's it's nice it's not bound anymore and uh, yeah so going back to uh, the card i have this frame this is that doily frame i i've just cut from the a white piece of paper and what i'm planning to do i don't want to like put it in the middle i want to have my composition like starting from this uh, left side uh, just so it's gonna be over that blue focal point i've just created with with the uh, with the paint and this is also creating that dimensional look for for the composition and also these flowers which i will be cutting in a minute from the palm paper they are on a white background so if we would be placing composition uh, w with white edge around the flower and uh, on the white background it's not gonna be a visible adding this splash of color this really really makes those flower composition you know making much more vibrant and much more visible and it's much more dimensional and here I cut this beautiful thank you sentiment and this teeny tiny uh, septagonal uh, frame I was telling you at the beginning. I just love it, how delicate, how elegant it is. And here you can see me. I've made that, well, not really mistake because I, I really enjoy myself to fussy cut all the elements. However, uh, there is a dice and I was just checking them at the beginning, but I was so excited. These flowers were so beautiful that uh, I've just like grabbed myself scissors and want to uh, cut them you know very very quickly with my own scissors and then once I basically finish cutting I was like wait a second there's a die there <laughs> but as you can see it's very easy to do uh, so uh, if you don't have the die set you can do it with your scissors as well however the dice uh, they are matching 
also the pattern paper but also the stamp set so uh, if you've got the those elements like from the collection you have the stamp set you have a dice and if you will buy the pattern paper that will also match the the die the die this is the way the loot design it so all elements just compound nicely and uh, you can mix and match between them and all works beautifully together now to finish off this background i trim it a little bit so it's gonna be leaving me this lovely like a outer rectangle edge uh, but i am taking my scissor and distress this edge teeny tiny bit uh, just to add it additional dimension to make it popping out from my card even more and i am just checking uh, how it's all fit in my composition and here you can see i am cutting out a little bit just teeny tiny bit just to trim it uh, so it's gonna be uh, fitting my card nice with nicely you can do it both way you can either uh, glue it and then trim it or trim it first and then glue it it's either way it works perfectly so i'm trying to see whether i want to have some a piece of a car uh, pattern paper underneath uh, for uh, giving a little bit more like um you know difference between the card base and the white panel but i eventually decide to uh, grab the brown color ink this is a brush cordoy from distress ink and i'm just teeny tiny bit going over the edges just so they're pop uh, from the white background uh, from that card base i've just created by scoring the piece of the a4 size card half and here you can see how lovely how beautiful uh, adding this drop of the ink just create this teeny tiny border all over the the panel and it's just make it pop instantly uh, another thing to do uh, to make the panel more visible on the front of the card base is to rise it up a little bit with the foam tape however here i am trying to create something relatively flat so that will be easy for mailing uh, to send it through the postage so i'm not adding the foam tape i just create uh, i'm just adding the regular double-sided tape and a drop of the liquid glue which helps me to uh, make sure everything is nice and straight and this drop of liquid glue give you this few seconds uh, rim uh, that in case you're not places 100% straight from the first time you still have a few seconds you can slightly move your paper now i am attaching the frame this is this white doily frame and then i will place this teeny tiny very very narrow uh, frame uh, it's not tiny it's a very large size but i mean uh, this um, gold frame it's very very thin and i just love how delicate it is and how it's much at this lovely a little bit of the blink to the card make it much more special and i think it's just like it brings all the attention to this darker spot we create using this uh, ink and the foil earlier on and here i will be working on my composition and just to let you know my friends i am posting this video and there will be a full article on my page uh, on the craft world where i also will have the full list of supplies but what i have over there on the craft world not here on the youtube uh, once you go to my craft world page you will find the link which will lead you to the secret password uh, which you can get because today and for an entire week once i'm having this craft along which i'm not sure if i mentioned already but tonight at 6 p.m this is a uk time zone at 6 p.m i will have a craft along when we will be playing more with this textures collection and we're gonna be uh, talking about creating the shaker card and the craft stash is having a lovely uh, a lovely present for all of you my friends whoever will decide to order one of those uh, texture um, elements from this uh, floral script collection you will be eligible to get a free simply made crafts luxury shaker card kit which is worth uh, 7.99 and you will get a for free whatever from this flora script collection you decide to buy uh, you can also get this free uh, shaker card kit uh, all you have to do is just to place a discount uh, special code uh, uh, once you're gonna be making your purchase and there is this 
option to apply the, the code and you put the secret password which uh, you will find the link to this password on my expert page on the article i'm just posting so i will leave you a link over there hit on there and whatever what any product from this collection whether it's a die stamps or beautiful papers embossing folder you will decide to buy you can uh, have this extra little gift to go with it as well and uh, at this point my card is nearly ready i will be just dressing it up with a few of the nouveau drops i am using this lovely lavender color i will give you full list of supplies down below and also on the expert page and from this place thank you so very much for watching my tutorial and if you decide to buy something from the link i am providing you thank you so very much and uh, this is just a little disclaimer for you i am a part of the affiliate program with the craft stash so whenever you buy something using my link uh, i am receiving a little commission so this is the way of supporting me my family and my my crafting journey for which i am very grateful to you and thank you so very much i hope you enjoy this card and i'm also hoping that you will join me uh, for this craft along and we will be able to craft together uh, i will be live so that's mean if you have any questions anything you would like to ask a uh, crafty and non-crafty maybe as well uh, i'll be able to answer your questions if you have some so thank you so very much uh, stay blessed and i hope to see you later have a wonderful day my friends bye bye